Hey there guys, welcome back to Iceman Universe, and for today's reaction video, we're gonna watch Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Now, already we're, on, we're getting close to the home stretch of this series, and it's been great overall. Definitely the best one for me, in my opinion, is definitely the Goblet of Fire, mostly due to how action-packed and how dark it really is, and well, The Order of the Phoenix, it was a great movie too, like right up its alley. But it did introduce me to my least favorite character of the series, Professor Umbridge. And yeah, she pretty much was ruining the most of the movie. But it was very satisfying to see her get dragged away at the end. Well, almost at the end anyways. Because yeah, I just did not like how, how horrible she was treating Hogwarts. And you know, I'm glad she's gone and that Professor Dumbledore is back to lead the school once again. But I'm definitely interested to see what this movie will give us today. And hopefully we'll find out who the Half-Blood Prince is and that... He'll probably be someone who will help Harry train for his final match off against Voldemort. If you guys are enjoying my reaction series to Harry Potter and you want to support my YouTube channel for it, then please do so by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and ringing the bell to get notified for upcoming content on the channel. And please do not forget to click the link to my Patreon page, which is down in the description below, where you can watch my entire full length reaction series to Harry Potter, along with Ed and Eddie, Hey Arnold, Naruto, and One Piece, all in their standard full length forms. Now with that being said guys, let's get this reaction started. This is my reaction to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Word's spreading all around that Voldemort's back and everybody pretty much believes Harry I think. If not almost. Yep, Voldemort's face. The terror. Let the terror begin. Oh, Dicon Alley. They're attacking Matt. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Who the heck did they get? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, there's people on that bridge. I don't think everybody got off that bridge in time. Oh man. I guess Voldemort's trying to wreak havoc in the muggle world as well. Harry Potter. Who's Harry Potter? Bit of a toss already. Aw, oh, she doesn't know who he is. Funny, that paper of yours. A couple of nights ago, I could have sworn I saw a picture of me. Really? <laughs> well, I was going around a tweet. So how come Harry's hanging out in a cafe? Like, why is he doing that? Hey, I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off. Oh. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. You probably should tell her that he is he. I'm also surprised that, that they're once again not that they're not starting off with him at his aunt and uncle's house. That's quite surprising. And there's Dumbledore. Wonder what he wants now. You've been reckless this summer, Harry. Oh. I like riding around on trains. Oh, that's what he's been doing this summer? Oh, well, unpleasant to behold, isn't it? The tale is thrilling, if I say so myself. Mm -hmm. But now is not the time to tell us. Take my arm. Where are they going? I, I just apparated, didn't I? Indeed. Quite successfully, too, I might add. That's an abandoned. One's out, Harry. Yep, it's abandoned, so they may as well. <coughs> yeah, forget. Is Harry 17 yet? Who's Horace? Could that guy be the Half-Blood Prince? Oh my gosh, everything's a wreck. There's blood dripping from the ceiling. Oh no. What? Merlin's beard! Well, I must say, you make a very convincing armchair, Horace. Oh, yeah, that's Horace. I come by the stuffing naturally. What gave me away? Dragon's blood. Dragon's blood? Oh, yes, introduction. Harry, 
I'd like you to meet an old friend and colleague of mine, Horace Slughorn. Horace? Well, you know who this is. I'm sure he does. Harry Potter. So what's with all the theatrics, Horace? You weren't by any chance waiting for someone else, were you? Someone else? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? Really? I say no to these people so many times, so I never stay anywhere more than a week. Well, I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Yes. Fine. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was impressive. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Sure was. I use a little? No, of course. You look very like your father. Except the eyes, of course. You have your... My mother's eyes, yeah. Lily. Mm. Lovely Lily. She's exceedingly bright, your mother. Even more impressive when one considers she was a muggle-born. One of my best friends is muggle-born. She's the best in our year. Oh, please don't think I'm prejudiced. No, no, no. Your mother was one of my absolute favorites. Look, there she is. Right at the front. Oh, wow. All mine, each and every one. Ex-students, I mean. Oh, so he was a professor at Hogwarts. Barnabas Cuff, editor of the Daily Prophet. He must be retired or something. Always takes my owl, should I wish to register an opinion on... Ah, yes. Regulus Black. You no doubt know of his older brother, Sirius, died a few weeks ago. Yep. I taught the whole Black family, except Sirius. It's a shame. Talented boy. I got I'm Regulus. sure he was. Him, of course, but I'd have liked the set. <laughs> Exactly what was all that about? You are talented, famous, and powerful. Everything Horace values. Professor oh. Slughorn is going to try to connect you, Harry. That's why he's returning to Hogwarts. I this is part I of preparing Harry, isn't it? You, Harry. She was truthfully very pretty. The girl. Oh, yeah. It's all right, sir. I'll go back tomorrow. Make some excuse. Well, you'll not be returning to Little Winging tonight, Harry. Huh? But sir, what about Hedwig and my trunk? Both are waiting for you. Oh, they're going. But they're already going back to Hogwarts? And there he is! Harry! <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Always a great reunion with these guys. I didn't know you were coming! I didn't know Dumbledore. Oh, that bad. Yeah. But then what would we do without him? So when did you get here? A few days ago. Hmm. Though for a while I wasn't sure I was coming. Really? Mum sort of lost it last week. Said How she come? Had no business going back to Hogwarts. What? It's too dangerous. Oh, come on. She's not alone. Even my parents and their muggles know something bad's happening. Dumbledore's got a bit old. Rubbish. Well, he's only... What is he? 150? What? Give that old? <laughs> I doubt it. He can't be that old. <laughs> Man. He can't be trusted. Uh, yeah, Pettigrew. Almost forgot about him. Snape? Run along, one two. What is he doing here? I, I know I ought not to be here. The Dark Lord himself forbade me to speak of this. Put it down, Bella. We mustn't touch what isn't ours. As I'm aware of your situation, Narcissa. You. So yeah, it's safe to say Snape has been the mole of Hogwarts like this entire time and already this early into the movie we just find out about it. I mean, wow. And already this is quite a plot twist we got. Well, over the years I've played my part well, so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Dumbledore is a great wizard, only a fool would question it. I don't doubt you, Severus. You should be honored, Sissy. As should Draco. Severus. Swear to it. Make the unbreakable vow. Well, wait, what vow is that? <sighs> so is this supposed to be their unbreakable vow? Will you watch over Draco Malfoy as he attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes? I will. And will you, to the best of your ability, protect him from harm? <sighs> I will. If... If Draco should fail, Draco fails. Will you yourself carry out the deed? What's that deed? Snape gets killed? I will. Oh no. 
Oh, is this a special hideout for them? For the bad wizards? So I know that Slytherin's pretty much the hall designed to turn wizards into bad people. Stay hidden. Yeah, stay hidden. Now, who's that guy? For a second there, he kind of looked like a half werewolf. Let's just see. I don't think you'll see me wasting my time in charms class next year. <laughs> Amused, Blaze. See just who's laughing in the end. Oh gosh, is Harry hiding somewhere? I mean, should I be surprised that Draco Malfoy doesn't like being at Hogwarts? Eh, I don't know if I should, cause I mean, he pretty much it pretty much confirms he wants to follow in his dad's footsteps. So, I guess it it would make sense of it. Oh no. I think he found Harry. Mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop Potter? Put you for the palace. Oh, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, yep. Oh yeah, she was dead before you could wipe the drool off your chin. Is that really Harry? That's for my father. Until you ride back to London. If that, that can't be Harry if he didn't flinch or move at all. So yeah, that wasn't the real Harry. That was like a that was like a clone of some sort. Oh no, that's Luna. Okay, that is the real Harry, okay. Hello, Harry. Luna, how do you know where I was? Raxperts, your head's full of them. Nice face, Potter. Wish I could say the same for you, you piece of crap. Would you like me to fix it for you? Personally, I think you look a bit more devil may care this way, but Okay, yeah, give it a go. Episky. Oh! Did it work? How, how do I look? Exceptionally ordinary. Alright. Well, time for another opening speech. Very best of evenings to you all. Thanks. First off, let me introduce the newest member of our star, Horace Slughorn. Alright. <laughs> Professor Slughorn, I'm happy to say, has agreed to resume his old post as potions master. Oh, he's the potions master. The post of defense against the dark arts will be taken by Professor Snape. Oh, no. Well, that can't be good. Especially since he's the uh, mole. As you know, each and every one of you was searched upon your arrival here tonight. Once, there was a young man who, like you, sat in this very hall. His name, Tom Riddle. Yep. A.K.A. Lord Voldemort. Today, of course, he's known all over the world by another name. Which is why, as I stand looking out upon you all tonight, I'm reminded of a sobering fact. That in the end, their greatest weapon is you. Mm-hmm. Just something to think about. Now, off to bed. Pip, pip. That was cheerful. Yeah. I bet it was, Ron. I'm gonna take potions. This Quidditch trial's coming up. I need to practice. Boy. Attention to detail in the preparation is the prerequisite of all planning. Hurry, my to... boy, I'm beginning to worry. Or someone with us, I Ron Weasley, sir. Hmm? I'm dead awful at potions. I'm probably just gonna... Nonsense. We'll sort you out. Any friend of Harry's is a friend of mine. Get your books out. Sorry, sir. I haven't actually got my book yet. Not to worry. Get what you want from the cupboard. That one there is the truth-telling series. Wow. That one... <laughs> Battle for the newest book. Uh, of course, Ron would get it. You see before you, ladies and gentlemen, a curious little potion known as that's Felix a, Felicis. That's a potion jar? It is more commonly referred to as... Liquid luck. Yes, Miss Granger. Liquid luck, huh? Desperately tricky to make, disastrous should you get it wrong. That definitely so catches Malfoy's attention what I there. Offer each of you today. One tiny vial of liquid luck for the student who, in the hour, manages to brew an acceptable draft of living death. Recipes for which can be found on page 10 of your books. Okay, then. This book is the property of the Half Blood Prince. Oh. Oh, jeez. It's like some of these students don't know how to use a knife properly. Oh. How did you do that? Crush it, don't cut it. 
No. The instructions specifically say to cut. No, really. Yep. It's written on his book. Is it written on yours, Hermione? Oh! Oh, gosh. Thirteen beans are used. Oh. So, did Harry get it right? Merlin's beard. It's perfect. Okay. So perfect, I dare say one drop would kill us all. Oh, gosh. Here we are then, as promised. One vial of Felix Felicis. Congratulations. Wow. Use it well. That is very impressive. I do have a feeling Malfoy's gonna steal it, though. You must be wondering why I summoned you here to I am. The answer lies here. What you are looking at are memories. In this memories. case, pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. Oh, yeah. Or as it was known then, Tom Riddle. There this it is. contains the most particular memory of the day I first met him. Oh. I'd like you to see it. So is this where he... Where they put their memories in? What are we gonna see out of this? Oh boy. Alright, well, here we go. There have been incidents with the other children. Nasty thing. Tom, you have a visitor. How do you do, Tom? Wow. So that's Tom as a boy. You're the doctor, aren't you? I'm a professor. Yep. I don't believe you. I think I'm different. Well, perhaps they're right. I'm not mad. Hogwarts is not a place for mad people. Hogwarts is a school. Yep. School of magic. I can really? make things move without touching them. Oh. Uh. I can make animals do what I want without training them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. Oh, wow. I can make them hurt. Who he must have you? a ton of vengeance on his mind. Well, I'm like you, Tom. I'm different. Thievery is not tolerated at Hogwarts, Tom. But He's Hogwarts a thief. Will be taught not only how to use magic, but how to control it. So he used to steal back in the day. Bet she still steals now. I can speak to snakes too. Oh. They find me. I guess so. Wow, what a memory that was. Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. You probably wouldn't let him come. Over time, while here at Hogwarts, Tom Riddle grew close to one particular teacher. And that was Snape, that wasn't it? Him. You didn't bring Professor Slughorn back simply to teach potions, did you, sir? Oh, no, it was Slughorn. See, Professor Slughorn possesses something I desire very dearly. He will not give it up easily. And what's said that? Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Mm -hmm. I did. Do you want me to let him? Yes. Have you ever heard of this spell, Sectum Sempra? No, I haven't. But if you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to know whose that book was. Let's have a look, shall we? No. Why not? It's a special the book. The binding is fragile. The binding is fragile. <gasps> oh, no. Who's the Half-Blood Prince? Who? That's what yeah. it says right here. This book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Well, I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, he changed a lot of things in that book. For weeks you carry around this book. I didn't say I wasn't curious, and I don't sleep with it. I like a nice chat before I go to bed. No, do is read that bloody book. Stop here with a mining. Up. Oh. Well, I was curious, so I went to the, the library. library. And nothing. Oh. I couldn't find a reference anywhere to a half-blood prince. There we go, that settles it then. Yeah, uh, hoping to find you in the three broomsticks. Uh, no, uh, emergency. Quiet practice, I'm afraid, Horace. <laughs> so, what brings you here? In the old days, I used to throw together the occasional supper party. A select student or two. Would you be game? Uh, I'd consider it an honor, sir. You'd be welcome too, Granger. <laughs> I'd be delighted, sir. Splendid. And who is this, Al? Good to see you, Wallenby. You don't know his last name. It's Weasley. What are you playing at? I don't know. Dumbledore's asked me to get to know him. Get to know him? I don't know. It must be important. If it wasn't, Dumbledore wouldn't ask. That's true. Tell me, Cormac, do you see anything of your uncle Tiberius these days? Yes, sir. In fact, I'm meant to go hunting with him and the Minister for Magic over the holidays. Be sure to give them both my best. What about you, Miss Granger? What exactly does your family do in the muggle world? My parents are dentists. Really? We don't know anything about Hermione's parents, so... They tend to people's teeth. Fascinating. And is that considered a dangerous profession? No. One boy, Robbie Fenwick, did bite my father once. Oh. He needed ten stitches. <laughs> Okay. 
Ah, Miss Weasley, come in, come in. Oh. They've been fighting again, her and Dean. Uh oh. Sorry, I'm not usually late. Just in time for dessert. That is, if Belby's left you any. <laughs> oh boy. Goodbye. Bye bye. Potter. I'm sorry, sir. I was just admiring your hourglass. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yes. a nice one. That's an intriguing object. The sand runs in accordance with the quality of the conversation. Yeah. Did Voldemort ever make the shelf, sir? Did he? You knew him, didn't you, sir? Tom Riddle? You were his teacher. Yeah. Mr. Riddle had a number of teachers whilst here at home. What was he like? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me. He killed my parents. Yep. It's only natural you should want to know more. Really? But I'm afraid I must disappoint you, Harry. How so? When I first met young Mr. Riddle, he was a quiet boy committed to becoming a first-rate wizard. Unlike others I've known. But then I guess Not everything went south either. for him from there. If the monster existed, it was buried deep within. Oh. Good luck, Aaron. It's Quidditch time. I'm counting on you, Ron. I have two guns on Gryffindor, yeah? Ron's feeling so nervous about today. How was it then? Pretty boring, actually. Though I think Harry enjoyed dessert. Uh, Slughorn's having Christmas do, you know. And we're meant to bring someone. I expect you'll be bringing McLaggen. He's in the slug club, isn't he? Actually, I was going to ask you. Really? Oh, really? Good luck today, Ron. I know you'll be brilliant. Oh, jeez. I'm resigning. After today's match, McLaggen can have my spot. Your way. What? Please. Hello, everyone. You look that? dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put something in his cup? Oh, it's that potion from earlier. Liquid luck, yeah. Don't drink it, Ron. Um, too late. You could be expelled for that. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. Well, that certainly changed up his spirits. So, yeah, we haven't seen a Quidditch match since the Prisoner of Azkaban, so... Nice defense, Ron. So, even though Harry's team captain, is he still the Seeker, or what? Oh, wow! Everybody loves him! Okay. We shouldn't have done it. I suppose I could have just used the Confundus charm. What would that do? That was different. That was a tryout. This was an actual game. She didn't put it in. He didn't do it. Oh, wow. Oh. oh I bet Hermione's going to get jealous. Uh oh. Oh, yep, she's jealous. Charm spell. I was practicing. Well, they're really good. How does it feel, Harry, when you see Dean with Ginny? Hi. I know. I see the way you look at her. Gosh. You're my best friend. <laughs> oh, boy. Oops. I think this room's taken. Yeah, you two need to go. What's with the birds? She's pissed at him. A pugno. Oh no. Alright, Hermione, I think that was way over the top for you. At least you have Harry to comfort you. That's a good thing. Like I can't help if she's got a knickers in a twist. What Lav and I have. Well, let's just say there's no stopping it. It's chemical. Okay. Would it last? Who knows? Well, he is. I'm a free agent. <laughs> He's a perfect liberty to kiss whomever he likes. I really couldn't care less. Oh, All I doubt it. He and I would be attending Slughorn's Christmas party together, given the circumstances. I've had to make other arrangements. Yeah. Have you? Well, I just thought, seeing as neither of us can go with who we'd really like to, we should go together as friends. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Who that... are you going with? Um, it's a surprise. Oh. Anyway, it's you we've got to worry about. You can't just take anyone. See that girl over there? That's Ramilda Vane. Apparently oh, she's trying really? to smell you a love potion. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. I am the chosen one. 
Well, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> kidding. Um, well, ask someone I like. Probably. Could it be Luna? It is Luna. I've never been to this part of the castle. At least not while awake. I sleepwalk, okay. you see. That's why I wear shoes to bed. Wow. <laughs> Drink? Never. I didn't get into the slug club. Oh. It's okay, though. It's got Bill behind the hotels in the loo. I'm, well, I'm fine, mate. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Luna, what is she doing? Oh, no, it's Hermione. Okay. And what happened to you? Oh, I've just escaped. I mean, I left Cormac under the mistletoe. Cormac. But she couldn't kiss him. That's who you invited. I thought it would annoy Ron the most. But it's not working, is it? He's got more tentacles than a snuffalot plant. Dragon Tart, huh? Oh, I find they They give one horribly bad breath. Second thoughts. Uh. I might keep Cormac at bay. She oh, still can't get over her feelings for Ron. I think she just went to powder her nose. Super little minx, your friend. Nice to work her mouth too, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, she hate one. What is this for me to mow Dragon Tartar. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, you just no. bought yourself a month's detention, McLagan. Not so quick, Potter. Sir, I really think I should rejoin the party my date. And surely survive your absence for another minute. Besides, oh. I only wish to convey a message. From Professor Dumbledore, he asked me to give you his best so you enjoy your holiday. You see, he's traveling. And he won't return until term resumes. Where is he? Where? Yeah, where? <laughs> Not even gonna tell him, huh? Oh. I've just discovered this boy lurking in an upstairs corridor. Oh, he claims man. to have been invited to your party. Okay, okay, I was gate crashing. Gate crashing? Happy? What? I'll escort him out. Maybe I did hex that bell girl. Maybe I didn't. Look at you. Oh, what a protection. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen for this. Out of all others, me. I won't fail him. No, oh, way. Harry's hearing this. Now he knows the truth. Wait, unbreakable vow. So they're going home for Christmas this time. Wait. Okay. It's just, you can't break an unbreakable vow. I'd work well, except Hermione. Myself, I can't understand. Oh, buddy. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All she wants to do is stop me. My lips are getting chapped. Look, and I'll take your word for it. Oops. Bad timing. What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Oh. You'll have to forgive Remus. It takes its toll, his condition. Oh, boy. Are you all right, Mr. Weasley? We're being followed. All of us. Most days, Molly doesn't leave the house. It's not been easy. Did you get my owl? Yes, I did. If Dumbledore's traveling, then that's news to the Ministry, but perhaps that's the way Dumbledore wants it. As for really? Draco Malfoy, I know a bit more. Go on. Really? I sent an agent to Borgen and Burks. I think, from what you described, you and Ron saw at the end of the summer, that Draco is so interested in a vanishing cabinet. A vanishing cabinet? Vanishing cabinet. They were all rage when Voldemort first rose to power. Should the Death Eaters come knocking, Ron simply had to slip inside and disappear for an hour or two. Could transport you practically anywhere. Tricky contraptions. What happened to her? The one at Borgen and Burke's? Nothing. It's still there. Really? Uh-oh. Crap. All the Death Eaters are here. Oh no, Harry's going after her. So annoying. Oh. Harry. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Oh no. Oh crap, it's that guy. There he is. Oh, 
Okay, good. More backup. Oh no! My. Oh my gosh. The entire Weasley house wrecked and burned. That is true. I know who I am, Hermione, all right? So, what now? Another double door memory going on. <laughs> so, this is Tom, like in his early years at Hogwarts. Sir, is it true that Professor Mary Thought is retiring? I couldn't tell you if I knew, could I? By the way, thank you for the pineapple. You're quite right. It is my favorite. Is there something on your mind, Tom? Yes, sir. I couldn't think of anyone else to go to. The other professors. They're not like you. Really? They might misunderstand. How what? so? I was in the library the other night, in the restricted section. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. I thought perhaps you could illuminate me. It's cool, as I understand it. Oh, oh. I, beg your I don't know anything about such things, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Now get oh, out of God. here at once, and don't ever ever catch you mentioning it again! Oh gosh, it was a forbidden spell that, that Voldemort Confused. found. I'd be surprised if you weren't. This is perhaps the most important memory I've collected. It is also a lie. A lie? The memory has been tampered with. The same person whose memory it is, our old friend Professor Slughorn. Why would he tamper with his own memory? I suspect yeah. he's ashamed of it. Now I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory any way you can. I don't know him that well, sir. Well, you're gonna have to, Harry. I don't think you have a choice. This memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. You must not fail. Yeah, definitely not. It's beautiful, isn't it? The moon. What? Divine. Had ourselves a little late night snack, did we? It was on your bed, the box. I just thought I'd try one. <laughs> or 20. Do you think she knows I exist? I bloody well hope so. She's been snogging you for three months. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? You don't remember, Ron? Milda, of course. Milda Vane. Okay, very funny. Ah, what's that for? What no, the heck, no. Ron? I'm in love with her. Oh, all right, fine, you're in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? No. Can you introduce me? Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I wouldn't bother you if it weren't absolutely essential. What's the matter with Wimby? Very powerful love potion. Gosh. I could bring him in. Okay, yeah, that was not meant for Ron. That was meant for Harry, so... Yeah, things are about to get pretty twisty here. Hello, darling. Oh, it's your drink. Oh my gosh, Ron. Well, I expect you're tired of it after all these years. All the questions about Voldemort. Don't use that name. Oh, jeez, Ron. You're getting way out of control. Yeah, my boy. Bottoms up. Yeah, drink it. Oh, okay. I think he's back to normal now. What happened to me? Love potion. A bloody yeah. strong one at that. Really bad. You need a pick me up, my boy. Buttered beer, wine, dazzling oak matured mead. I had other intentions for this, but I could do a potter. To life! Oh no. Ron. Ron. Did he just get poisoned? Do something. I, I don't He's... understand. Oh no. Oh, come on, Ron, breathe. Please. Oh, Ron. Oh, good. Just in time. Thank goodness. Wait, so... These girls, they're gonna kill me. So apparently those love potions have death added to it. And it looks like Harry was supposed to be the one getting Quit killed. Quick thinking on your part, Harry, using a bazaar. You must be very proud of your student, Horace. This appears to be a gift, Horace. I don't remember who gave you this bottle. By the way, it possesses remarkably subtle hints of licorice and cherry, but not polluted with poison. Actually, I had intended to give it as a gift myself. To Harry. To you, Headmaster. Oh. Where is he? Where's my one one? Has he been asking for me? Don't worry, one one. I'm here. Uh, mind me. Oh, mind me. Oh. Gosh. Oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. Yeah, may as well leave him be, Harry. And here we go with that again. That's a piece of a feather.
Back in Diagon Alley. Oh. So that's where he disappears to. That's what happened to that apple earlier. The oh, poor bird. Tell me how I broke up the lavender again. She came to visit you in the hospital. And you whispered Hermione's name. Talks. I don't believe it was a particularly long conversation. Don't get me wrong, I'm bloody thrilled to be shot of her. She seems a bit put out. You didn't know you you mumbled Hermione's name. Yes, um, she does, doesn't she? Oh no. What is he doing? Is he trying to realize what he's do about what he's doing and get himself into? I know what you did, Malfoy. You hexed her, didn't you? Oh gosh. Whoa, what kind of spell was that? Oh no. What did Harry just do? Oh no. Don't tell me Harry killed Malfoy. I'm sure you would not want to do that. Oh, he's closing up the wounds. Slug on, then I take it. Nope. That's oh. it. All I need is a bit of luck. Oh. So he's really gonna use it this time. Now he's drinking the whole thing. How do you feel? He feels excellent. lucky. Really excellent. Okay. Remember, Slughorn usually eats early, takes a walk, and then returns to his office. Right. I'm going down to Hagrid's. No, Harry, you've got to go and speak to Slughorn. We have a plan. I know, but I've got a really good feeling about Hagrid's. I feel it's it's the place to be tonight. Uh, Harry, I must insist you accompany me back to the castle immediately. That would be counterproductive, sir. Uh, I did one snapped into which was sad. <laughs> I had him from an egg, you know. Tiny little thing he was when he hatched. No bigger than a pick of knees. A pick of knees, mind you. Oh, sweet. That's life, I suppose. You go along and then suddenly, poof. It's true. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all those years ago in your office. Be brave, Professor. Yeah. Be brave like my mother. It's the best chance otherwise, you have. You disgrace her. Otherwise, she died for nothing. Now that's a really good compromise right there. No idea what he was like even then. Huh? Oh, that's his memory. All right then, time to discover the real truth. It's called, as I understand it, a Horcrux. A Horcrux. I beg your pardon. What is that I one? Turn my reading. And I didn't fully understand it. I'm sure what you were reading, Tom, but this is very dark stuff. Very dark indeed. Sure does which sound that way. Why I came to you. A Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. But I don't understand how that works. One splits one's soul and hides part of it in an object. By doing so, you are protected should you be attacked and your body destroyed. Protected? Part of your soul that is hidden lives on. In other words, you cannot die. So, does that make him immortal? And how does one stretch his soul, sir? I think you already know the answer to that, Tom. Does he now? Murder. Killing rips the soul apart. Violation against nature. Oh, no. Can you only split the soul once? Instance, it's seven. Seven? Seven? Killing's beard, Tom. Isn't it bad enough to consider killing one person? To rip the soul into seven pieces? This is all hypothetical, isn't it, Tom? All academic. I don't think so. Of course, sir. He's lying. It'll be our little secret. Oh gosh. Well, now we know the sir. truth. This is beyond anything I imagined. You mean to say he succeeded, sir, in making a Horcrux? Oh yes, he succeeded, all right. Not just once. What are they exactly? Be anything. 
most commonplace of objects. It happened more than once? Oh my gosh. A ring, for example? Tell my little diary. It's a Horcrux, yes. I knew then this was a different kind of myth. But until tonight, I had no idea just how powerful. And the ring? It belonged to Voldemort's mother. Difficult to find. Really? Even more difficult to destroy. If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. They could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? True. Forgive my mawkishness, Harry. I'm an old man. <laughs> you still look the same to me, sir. Just like your mother, you're unfailingly kind. Trait people never fail to undervalue, I'm afraid. The place to which we journey tonight is extremely dangerous. Oh, yeah? I promise you could accompany me, and I stand by that promise. There is one condition. You must obey every command I give you without question. Yes, sir. Okay, then. You do understand what I'm saying. Should I tell you to abandon me and save yourself, you must do so. Wow. That's a lot. Especially that last one to ask. A word, Harry. He doesn't have a choice. Right. Take my own. <laughs> this place has known magic. What the? Sir. In order to gain passage, payment must be made. You should have let me, sir. Oh, no, Harry. Your blood's much more precious than mine. Okay, then. What's this place here? Voldemort will not have made it easy to discover his hiding place. That's Voldemort's hiding place? Oh. There it is. Huh? The only question is how do we get there? Yeah, how do they get there? <laughs> this must be like a very special area of some sort. How so? I like the conditions on which I brought you with me. This potion might paralyze me. Oh boy. It make me forget why I'm here. It caused me so much pain that I beg for relief. You are not to indulge these requests. Which I'll carry to make sure I keep drinking this potion. Even if you have to force it down my throat. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Professor. Uh oh. <laughs> Professor. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, gosh, uh, Professor. Can you hear me? Professor. Please don't tell me he's gonna die. You have to keep drinking like you said, remember? Yeah. He did it, sir. Look. Is that it? Is that the Horcrux? Oh, it's getting dark. Aguamente. Hang on, he's getting it. Oh, no. He can't get it out? Oh! What was that? Oh, crap. Lumos Maxima! Oh, cried. Oh, no. That's not enough to stop them. Now what? Oh, no. What is that? Okay, I freed Harry, but now what? Professor Dumbledore, he's doing it! Is he finally feeling well? Yeah, they gotta get out of here, they gotta go! We need to get you to the hospital, wing, sir. Alright, they Matter made it back. Yourself below, Harry. You speak or be seen by anybody without my permission. Whatever happens, it's imperative you stay below. He's come to kill Dumbledore, hasn't he? Good evening, Draco. What brings you here? You are no assassin. He trusts me. I was chosen. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. I have or, to kill you. Or Voldemort's gonna kill him. <laughs> okay, it's like Malfoy doesn't want to do it, but he doesn't have a choice. <sighs> Look what we have here. Uh oh. Crap. Snape's here. So, I guess no. Snape's not the mole? How about a cadaver? No! Snape! Oh, yep. You're busted, Snape. 
No, Hagrid's house! Fight back! You coward, fight back! Oh, crud! He belongs to the Dark Lord. Why? Gosh. Don't give up, Harry. Keep going. You dare use my own spells against me, possibly. What? Yeah, I'm the Half-Blood Prince. No way! It was Snape was the Half-Blood Prince all along? That's gotta be like the biggest plot twist of the series. So is this it? Not yet. All right. Flawed ahead, Master. What's Harry gonna do now? You should know, Professor Dumbledore. You meant a great deal to him. I know. That's be that's believable beyond a doubt. Do you think he would have done it? No, he was lowering his wand. He was conflicted, he like. Snape. It was always Snape. I did nothing. Mum's okay with it, you know. You and Ginny. <laughs> if I were you and he's around, I'd keep this logging to a minute. Yeah. I'm not coming back, at mining. What? I've got to finish whatever Dumbledore started. I don't know where that'll lead me. I'll let you and Ron know where I am when I can. I hope so. I don't really think you're going to be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself, do you? You need us, Harry. I don't think you can do this alone, man. I never realized how beautiful this place was. Ah, Dumbledore's Phoenix. <laughs> Alright then. Guess that's the end of it. Alright guys, so that was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and... This is definitely by far the darkest movie I've seen out of the whole franchise, and we only got two more movies to go after this one, but... Man, it was so sad seeing Professor Dumbledore get killed, and that, you know, Professor Snape has, you know, been the mole, and... Was the one who killed him, and that he is the one who's the Half-Blood Prince, cuz... Now, when I edited my reaction to the Order of the Phoenix, I cut out that scene for YouTube to avoid copyright where Harry went through Snape's memories and saw that his father was a bully to, to Snape, and I guess that's something, that's probably a feeling Snape's never let go of, and I don't know, maybe it's his hatred towards, you know, Hogwarts or something, or to Professor Dumbledore or what, but yeah, it was just so scary, and it was just so sad, and... I thought Malfoy was going to be the one uh, who, who really does kill Dumbledore, but no, he, he felt so conflicted and scared, but he does have the Voldemort tattoo on his forearm, so I'm guessing all that buildup he's been doing means that he does want to be like his father and be a, a Death Eater, but, you know, now he's conflicted, and I think he... I'm wondering if next movie he'll probably end up changing sides and become a better wizard and be a good wizard like Harry because and maybe put his rivalry with Harry to rest or something like that. This definitely feels like the big clim climactic point of the whole franchise and like I said we're two movies away from finishing up Harry Potter so I'm definitely interested to see how well the Deathly Hallows will play out when we when we watch part one and such. But other than that guys that's gonna be it for this reaction video. If you did enjoy this one so much though and you want to see more Harry Potter reactions on my YouTube channel, then please do show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and commenting down below what you thought of this movie. And please do not forget to click the link to my Patreon page which is down in the description below where you can watch my entire reaction series to Harry Potter along with Ed and Nettie, Hey Arnold, Naruto, and One Piece all in their standard full length forms. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.